Oh my, I just got taken away by a bald eagle. That, my dearest people, is what I was just shouting to my mother, of all people, in, in a dream, so obviously a nightmare. And I were running, broad daylight running, like in a green field or something or other, you know, and, um, and then suddenly something swooped in and took him. Obviously, I don't even know that it was a bald eagle in the dream, that's what I said, but the thing is, the, the thing, the bird dropped him from up, up high, and he would never have have lived, fallen that far, far, but I ran, he, it dropped him, and I ran to him, and he was seriously hurt, and, and I couldn't move him, so, obviously, I must have called on the phone, or something, I don't remember dialing the phone, but it had to have been on the phone, so I couldn't move him, and I was just shouting, you know, into the phone, or whatnot, again, I remember being a phone, it was just a dream, and, Oh my God, taken away by a bald eagle, and he's hurt, and et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, yeah, it was a nightmare. Not, not surprising under the circumstances, though, you know. I found these in my mom's room. Pajamas. Pajama bottoms. I actually wore them last night. Um, but remember, it's me as usual going to bed with the lights on at 9 or a little after 9. And now I just woke up and it's 12.15. And um, he thinks it's morning. He doesn't understand. So to him, it's time to eat. So to pacify him, I gave him, while I was putting my sneakers on to take him out to go pee-pee, I gave him just a smidgen, a teeny, you know, few few pieces of food. You know, threw them on the kitchen floor. I usually at the risk of on the kitchen floor to slow him down from eating because he eats way too fast. I taught my mom how to do that too. That way he has to work for the food a little bit and doesn't just chow it down in the bowl. Um, and I actually slept in these pajama out of that pink robe of above, but for the video, since that's not flattering at all, I put on my black sweater. <laughs> for the quick video because just as I said last night now I said I told you I was going to take a nap it's usually like three hours or less and then get up and do the things I need to do put my soup in the containers and put it in the freezer etc cetera, etc cetera. I remember whenever I wake up I take him out to pee pee but I gotta keep an eye on him because as we've already established, four people should get out of him and he could still pee. And I'm not going to let him do it, so. I know we have a weird schedule on my. But someday it'll be normal. I have two weeks to find something. I'm just going to have to take anything. I'm going to do. Get up here. And that's what I've given myself two weeks. Despite my mom. Naive. God, her sister would be screaming at her. If her sister watches it, she'll be screaming at her. You can stay here then. You, you and Omar can stay in my home as long as you you want to. Yeah. No, we can't, Mama. No, we can't. was definitely a nightmare. Um, I didn't even start crying or anything. I was just simply in a state of shock, you know. 
first of all, he was taken from me, and I thought, that's it. I'll never see him again, because the eagle took him, or whatever the bird, whatever the birds do, you've seen it in movies, and they swoop down, and, and it, it happens, you know. It happens with little dogs. Obviously, he wasn't on a leash. What are you doing? No! I know what you're doing. No! No! Get up here. No! You know what he's fucking doing. Get up here. Remember, I took a shower. I was wondering what he's digging out. He's trying to find the goddamn underwear. But I have my stuff right there because you have to laundry. No! I'm on to you. You already got my other pair of underwear. At least you didn't ruin them. No. I was creating a video and didn't know we had the underwear. So yeah, that wasn't a pleasant thing at all, but... Lots of people have nightmares. It's nothing, nothing, you know, unique to me or whatnot. Even in Amy, even in Big Bang for Amy, that character suffers from night terrors, you know. And she kicks out and everything. Still haven't got to watch season seven. I have it on hold and I, it's a popular thing, so other people are ahead of me and I've been waiting like a month now. Uh-oh. Yeah, goddamn infection's coming back and that other ear. Fuck me. We're gonna have to go to the vet some more. That's why he's scratching it. We're gonna have to go to the vets. It's gonna be a brand new vet. I have to get his nails done anyway, so I'm gonna do it one fell swoop. Wonderful, huh? That's a little boy.
bring the stuff I had him on. I'll say, you know, he was on this from this date to this date, and and now the damn infections come back, and Let's see what the new vet says. I'll walk them a certain distance and call the taxi from my cell phone simply to save myself some money, you know. And it won't be that much because it'll be fed here in this city. And I know that, um, I know what it's cost me to take taxis a certain distance, you know what I mean? So it won't be that much. That's what I'll do. Nothing else I can do. Told you I like to be self-sufficient. I don't want to bother like that Christian woman around here, you know. And I don't know what she does during during the day or what, and and I don't want to bother her. Remember, I accept rides from her if she sees me walking at night home from the library, or if she's at the library and gives me a that's, that's different than asking her to take me in to the vets, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do it. I'll take a taxi. But yeah, the damn infections come back. I think that's common anyway. Last time I was telling you, I was looking at both ears, and they both looked nice and healthy, and now he's scratching at the one again. Yeah, there he's, um, damn infections come back. Infections come back, Omar's. Mama's has got to take you to the vets anyway. Even though I don't believe in shots. I gotta get him updated on his shots. Um, I have his rabies thing. I got. Remember, I got him his rabies. I get him updated on his shots because you never know. Someone I move in with might require that. That don't think that didn't happen. That happened to me last time. A potential roommate. It's like, you know, your dog will I'll have to have proof your dog's updated on his shots. You know. <coughs> so at least I took a shower and I washed my hair. I'll be wetting it down today and drying it because it looks much nicer when I let when I dry it. I think my mom's tub might be a little clogged. She comes back, she'll have to she'll have to call a plumber. Um, it's nothing I did. It's just it periodically happens, and my mom only my mom has long hair, but she only washes her hair every couple of weeks. Think about that. So that's twice a month versus I wash my hair like 
twice a week. That's eight times as much the long hair. And we have a thing catching the hair, but you know, it's like. It, it periodically happens where it gets clogged. She can take care of it. That's right, I have to transfer over that money. I better do that right now while I'm thinking about it. come out like right at midnight. It's an automatic thing, but you know, who knows what even, if it's, hopefully it doesn't come out right at midnight. After midnight now, I sucked from the usual with the lights on and whatnot, and like three hours a little less. And I'll do shit I need to do for a couple of hours, including some laundry, and then I'll go back to bed. This time with the lights off, you know, the normal. It's normal as it can be for me under these absolutely abnormal circumstances. See you later, people. Bye-bye.